Good day everyone. Today's 10 interesting facts is on my favorite monster of all time, the Xenomorph. Feel free to comment to let me know which monster is your favorite. Now, let's get into it. Number 1. The Xenomorph XX121, better known just as Xenomorph, which literally translates to strange form from Greek, or the alien is an extraterrestrial hive-based species with a multi-stage life cycle. Number 2. The physical form of a xenomorph can vary wildly depending on its life stage, hive, caste, age, and host. Its ability to incorporate genetic material from its host, coupled with the existence of numerous mutations and deviations which have originated naturally or artificially, makes the xenomorph one of the most diverse organisms in the galaxy. Number 3. The typical xenomorph begins its life cycle as an egg-like creature known as an ovomorph, or simply egg, which, when detecting the presence of a potential host, opens up to release a second stage, a small arachnid-like life form named the facehugger, which launches itself into the host's face and impregnates it with larva. This parasite then consumes part of the host from within and violently emerges from the host's chest cavity as a worm-like creature, christened as the chest burster, which will quickly scurry away to find a safe place where it can molt and complete its metamorphosis into an adult xenomorph, which happens, surprisingly enough, over the course of mere hours. Number 4. Although numerous varieties exist, adult xenomorphs all tend to share some common traits. A vertebrate-like body, a protective dark exoskeleton, a long flexible tail, elongated head domed head, and a tooth mouth hiding a secondary extendable inner mouth. They also bleed an unknown and extremely corrosive fluid. This substance is dull yellow in color and often referred to as blood, although whether it's used to transport nutrients through the body and or serves principally as a defensive mechanism is not clear. Number 5. Little is known about their biology, but it is known that they eat with their inner or secondary mouths, not their outer mouths. Number 6. Xenomorphs operate in hives made out of resin they produce mixed up with their saliva fluid. The most commonly observed casts of drones, warriors, praetorians, and queens. The queen can be generated in more than one way, from specialized royal facehuggers or maturing from praetorians, which in turn can mature from drones or warriors by a process referred to as molting. Number 7. Most xenomorphs possess a, an intelligence level equivalent to that of a typical primate. It's well within their capabilities to learn relatively quickly, gathering information and making advantages use of their environment. The queen appears to possess considerable acumen in her social behavior and manipulation of human technology, such as cutting the power of the LV-426 colony and operating an elevator. While it may take considerable time for them to learn how to operate machinery, other xenomorphs have displayed fast reasoning and the capacity to find creative counterintuitive solutions to problems, as exemplified by a group which, after noticing they were being contained, intentionally murdered the weakest so that the acid of the xenomorph's blood would eat through the floor. Number 8. Xenomorphs have demonstrated little emotion though they are not completely devoid of fear, such as when they are in the presence of fire, which they're vulnerable to. They have also shown to communicate pain through shrieks or screams when attacked. Number 9. In the rare event that a xenomorph finds itself under attack or otherwise vulnerable, it might display incredibly creatively and cleverness. They are capable of moving silently and quickly in ventilation systems, despite their size, and will use conduits as ambush, escape, or simply as an easy way to travel between areas. Number 10. It is interesting to note that xenomorph drones have been observed to bury themselves in the ground, yet their spines are still shown just breaking the surface, implying some use when connected to the environment. This may be either biological, breathing, heat exchange, etc., or sensorial, 
detecting the vibrations of Marines walking on the ground. I hope you liked this video. There's certainly more I can say about the Xenomorph that I may have to do a part two. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date on new videos as they come out. Take care and have an awesome day.